What's, What's up, up guys? guys? Welcome back to our channel. We're back with a story mukbang. Time. Oh, story time mukbang. I'm having the foie noodles. I usually like the black package, but I still have these from when we got this. This is the cheese one, which isn't my favorite, but it's still good. It's like the same thing. It just has like a cheese packet. And then I put enoki mushrooms, which is like all blended in. Oh my God. I also added some mozzarella cheese and some chopped green onions. Eldin has the, the veggie, soon veggie soon brand. These are so good. We'll show you guys another one in another video that is like our favorite, 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 but they didn't have it at the store. But this one is like next level too. We like to put like the whole shebang. I added uh some sliced cherry tomatoes, enoki mushrooms, broccoli. broccoli, spinach, and green onions too. Yeah, and obviously that one's vegan, but it tastes like regular ramen, doesn't it? Yeah, it's really good. It doesn't taste like like vegetable ramen. Sometimes like it I'll tastes add regular. a little soy sauce just to get it a little darker. I think that tastes better than most regular ramen. So if you guys haven't tried that brand yet, try it. It is phenomenal. First bite. Yum, this is so good. Spicy noodles always hit the spot for me every single time. Look at that. Bomb. How's yours? Delicious. I honestly don't know how people do like story time mukbangs because it's like you have to stop eating. <laughs> so if you guys read the title, I'm assuming you guys came also for the story time. We honestly get a lot of questions why we moved to LA. And honestly, it was just to move up in our careers. At the time I was working for MAC Cosmetics, obviously, and I was trying to become a trainer with the company. In Hawaii, there is only one trainer position, which obviously was occupied. And it was also on the main island, which is Oahu. And we lived on Big Island. So the only way that I could really truly move up is if I went to a location that had a lot of those positions, not necessarily open, but you kind of just wait around till one opens up and then you just apply for it. So anyway, long story short with that, that was pretty much the main reason. I was like a hardcore ride or die Mac girl. Like I was like, I'm gonna work for Mac literally till I die. <laughs> and I was just that girl. So I was dedicated to my job. We both worked three jobs back home. Not only because we were just, you know, trying to save up for our future and just have like stability, but also we paid for our entire wedding by ourselves. So that obviously costs a lot of money and it is like, I wanna say triple the price in Hawaii because everything has to be imported. We had nothing really there. I mean, they even have more stores there now than they did when we lived there. So I had to get so much shipped in. Like my wedding dress alone was from Barcelona. That took six months to get to me. So everything is so expensive there and you know, we just, had to work. Had to work, and we worked a lot. Especially before our wedding, we rarely saw each other. It was like, <sighs> tough times to be honest. I was like 20 hours a day. Yeah, and you came home and slept for a couple hours and you'd be like Back gone. Yeah. yeah, it was a lot. We'll probably talk about our jobs and like what we did more in another video, but this is mainly the story of why we moved to California. It was basically just to, you know, have a better future for ourselves and just move up for my career. And of course, the only way that we could do that was if we came to LA. Well, honestly, we could have moved to so many different places that had more positions offering within the company, but I just felt like the island girl in me was screaming for LA. I originally wanted to move to New York ever since I was a little girl, but I said, no way. Yeah, he was like, there's no way. And I was like, please, like I begged him. And LA was just like, I guess. There was already a lot for me to just move to LA. Even yeah, I know. Because all of our family is back. Yeah, in, all of our family, all of, all our, of friends. our friends, like literally everything we knew our entire life is back home. So to make the move, it was such a huge deal. And not only that, but all of our friends that we've ever known that moved away from the island, 
have only left for like a year, maybe two tops, and they all come back home. So it was a really scary move for us, but it took a lot to finally get there. Like we actually started selling things and slowly packing twice um, before we actually made the move. And then we would like sell some things and then he would change his mind. He's like, I can't move. He's like, I get the urge to like want to go and support you. But then I remember like, everything we have here and I don't want to give it up and it's also like a huge risk if we just you know pack up and leave oh, and then yeah if we lose everything like if it doesn't yeah. work out you basically have to sold, start we, yeah but we sold everything to yeah. get there and then do whatever we do and if it fails then we'll be at We're scratch back to again square one like or completely. could we even get back like how would we even... I mean we, we 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 didn't even know like yeah. we literally had no idea we were just gung-ho about the whole thing and obviously i was way more like determined and excited to leave and my family's on Kauai, like that's where my parents are but his family's on big island so it was kind of like i already left a piece of my home and even though i was born and raised on big island we have so many different stories <laughs> to tell because i've been all over the place um i've lived on multiple islands in hawaii but um, I was back on Big Island, obviously, with him, and I just felt like it was time to go. So it was the hardest decision we ever had to make, but we did it. And we even came to a point where, you know, I was like begging him, begging him, begging him, and he was like so indecisive. And then he finally got to a point where he was so supportive. He was like, I don't have a job, I don't have nothing. And we're really just going based on what we saved and what my job offered. But we're like, we're just gonna figure it out. And he's like, even if I have to work at McDonald's, like I'll apply anywhere. Cause he is literally the smartest person I know. And he was a mechanic, like he did engineering and all kinds of stuff. So I was like, for him to say that he's gonna work at McDonald's, like that's, huge <laughs> like i, I, I would have worked anywhere yeah. just to make ends meet yeah i'm not the type where i'm not gonna sit around and not do anything yeah, like i would not. rather be putting my time there like anywhere else working making whatever i can until you get back until to i like, can get to where I, something i like yeah we went in with like open minds and no experience we had no idea where to live in california like where to go, we didn't know anyone. It was so scary. I never even drove a freeway before. Like he drove on the freeway um, in Oahu and he also drove on the freeway like whenever we would visit California. But on our island um, where, well, everywhere I've grown up, we've only had a highway with literally two lanes. So driving the freeway was like, I nearly had like a heart attack the first time I ever. It started out with him obviously in the car with me and showing me and we would do that for a long time. He would drop me off to work, pick me up to work because I was so scared to get on the freeway. So before he started his job, we had our truck. We shipped up Optimus, which was my first baby. Well, I had cars before that, but that was like my first huge investment and purchase in my life which i was so proud of i'll insert a picture here but we shipped optimus up and not only did i have to learn how to drive on the freeway but literally it's like driving a house on the freeway or a boat like our that truck was huge every time i would get out of the truck people would look at me like confused because they would expect like a big guy to come out and then they see like little old me <laughs> but um yeah, that was very challenging. So then we upgraded to him following behind me. We eventually got another car and then he would follow me on the freeway. So I'm like alone in the vehicle, but I knew he was right behind me. So it's like, I felt still safe. And then after a few times after that, I eventually like did it on my own. And that was like, whew. Thinking about it gives me like anxiety because it's, I just remember that moment so clear. I'll never forget it. That was pretty much like, the beginning of our journey in LA. I mean, we have so many stories. Eldon ended up getting an amazing job after I think a month of being in LA. We actually got a little break cause I got to like move in. We found a really, really nice house. Um, and we started out with roommates. <laughs> it was crazy. Like we've, <laughs> we didn't know who we we're moving in with. We had a lot of 
damn we had a lot of drama with that well, our roommates were crazy roommates. yeah multiple and we were like we've always been the best tenants we have a1 references and recommendations from all of our previous landlords like we were always on time no we actually paid rent always early we're just those type of people we like to be on time well you like to be on time <laughs> and pay our bills early and we were like so respectful we're extremely clean super organized whenever they come over like we're just so friendly that's how we are in hawaii too but we always had like such good um what is it called? R rapport? I think it's called rapport. When you have like a good relationship with like people. Yeah, it sucked because we couldn't afford to live like on our own. And so we had multiple, multiple roommates. I almost got in a fight with one. Like we were always amazing roommates, but we had problematic people living with us. So it was just problem after problem. Like one of the girls, it was a big drama, but they snuck in this big ass dog when our lease said absolutely no pets and the landlord found out and it was just it was crazy but they loved us because you know they could trust us our landlords we actually became really good friends with them they were so freaking nice the wife actually was like the hr head of hr at this aviation company which she offered eldon a job like she she just loved eldon and she was like you would do so well at this company. And he ended up working there for, I don't even know how long. It was quite a few years. That was a really good job. I love that job, but the hard part was working long hours mm -hmm. because there was so much overtime. Mm -hmm. It was kind of good. It kept me busy, but it did take up a lot of time. Well, it was hard too, cause we were like new in California. And then like going from not seeing you back home at least like I knew how to like navigate myself around. I had friends, we had family, but out here you worked long hours. I'd be waiting and waiting for you to get home. I mean, I obviously worked too, but my hours were not as long as yours. And he would leave at like four in the morning. Not only did the shift start early, but I went to the gym in the morning. So that just like added on a few more hours. So my days were typically like 12 to 14 hours. Mm -hmm. so. They were long, but you know what else I loved about that? Cause I actually, well, I got a little private tour. Um, I used to do photography back in my day. And um, the big boss hired me to come shoot like on corporate, location. Corporate, yeah. yeah, I got to shoot like the corporate team and shoot the warehouse. It was really cool. But his work was so freaking cool. Like he was a Chinese guy, right? I think he was mixed, like Chinese Thai. Oh yeah, he was, but he just had a really cool like style and the architecture and like the decor. Mm -hmm. He had, I'm gonna insert pictures if I can find them, but he had this huge like acrylic. I don't know what it was, but a huge like acrylic, Chinese. Chinese dragon. And it was from like, was like one neon. side of the building to the other side of the building and the entire thing lit up and it just changed colors. Through the middle of the Through office. Through the middle though. of right. the office. And it was like in the ground, in the roof. It was like insane. He also had an underground fish pond. That and you walked over. You walk over the fish pond, you can see the fish through the glass. With the waterfall by oh my the God. stairs on the way up to the second floor. Yeah, it was so cool. Like all the seats were like colorful cubes. Like it was just like a playground. It was so cool. And then he also loved like, um, Marvel. Marvel. So he had real life size action figures and the way that they designed it, like there was a giant Hulk from like the floor, like 20 feet. I don't know. It was huge. It was like, okay, so this is the wall, the glass, and it was on this side and this side. The glass was coming through like- He was broken through the glass. He was broken through the glass. Was, like the conference room were like different theme. Yeah. The red one was the Spider-Man room. Yeah. With, like Spider-Man hanging. And then also in the main lobby, they would change like every few months, but like hanging at the top, like he had Silver Surfer and like oh, other he ones. Did? Like, I forget that's the, crazy. What the other ones are. I remember the wall too was like this wave. It was like um, chameleon wave, how it changed mm -hmm. colors. Yeah. What else was there? I don't know. It was the coolest freaking like corporation I've ever seen. And it felt like you were like in Marvel, but they went all out for sure. Oh, and then also on the outside, there was a big, um, the wing from the airplane. The air, yeah, the aircraft Or an tail. aircraft tail or something like that. Cause mm -hmm. obviously it was an aviation company, but that was a cool job. Fun times. But yeah, that's um, 
part of our journey of what led us up to where we are now. And we are so grateful that we are where we're at now and everything we went through, you know, we had really, really hard times. We've always been really good with saving and paying our bills managing the money. and managing our money. But at the same time, like, you know, we have had really hard times and things have been tight, but you just make sacrifices. You just sacrifice things. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's all about like budgeting your spending yeah your expense <laughs> but i am so grateful to be able to work from home and eldon has an amazing job now we're just i feel overall it's just so nice to be able to like spend more time with each other and see each other all the time and create my schedule i'm always 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 working but at least like i'm at home in my comfort zone with, with the dogs my dogs <laughs> they're like my children that is pretty much the story of like why we came out here. If you guys like story times and chill videos like this, give us a thumbs up so we know you guys like them. And if you have not subscribed, please do that before you leave and click the notification bell so you guys are notified when our next video goes live. Thank you so much for watching. We love you guys so much and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.